Hey guys, it's Ellen here and it's Floral Friday and I'm doing some loose abstract delphiniums. Yep, that's what we're doing today. We're having some fun. Um, I'll show you in the beginning process how to do them and you don't have to add in the the abstract part of it. You can just continue with the more realistic um, delphiniums, but I'll show you how to do that in the beginning and then the end I go crazy and put in the abstract quality to it. So let's get started. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section. Okay, I'm going to go over my supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton uh, cold pressed paper. It's a 9 by 12 sheet paper towel. As you can see, I made some splotches already. I have my water jars up here. I'm going to be working just with these four colors today. Uh, the bright rose, peacock blue, cabin yellow deep, and probably some Prussian blue. I might have to add in a little black or something too, but I'm trying to keep it simple. I lightly sketched in just here, like I see like a bending sprig and here the delphiniums. Um, basically I printed out um, just for reference this is a royalty free image, well not royalty free, but I mean you can buy the image for licensing, but if you're just doing personal use it's royalty free. And you see how they have this stems like up here and there's little kind of like bally blooms that haven't opened up yet and then the ones down below are all open and then just these flowers that are kind of layered with the center here and they come in different colors I like the purplish blue ones as the white center you know, with a little dot um, and then the leaves kind of look, look like parsley leaves but they're a little bit bigger <laughs> I can't really tell in this picture but I'll have the um, image attached to this description box so you can go look at it but you know I'm painting loosely so I'm not really doing it that way so I'm going to start off I'm probably using my Princeton long round I think I'll start off with making the green color since I'm using two paint and it's fairly wet I can go right ahead and use this brush to mix it so let's try making our green with a deep yellow and this is the Prussian blue And that's not so bad, right? Yellow, Prussian blue. Kind of like the bluish. Got a fairly good green color here. And I'll put in a touch of that pink that will just tone it down a bit. Because you know, red and green make brown. So when you put the complementary color in there, it just tones it down. I'm gonna get this fairly loose. I always like to dab it here, so I, get, I dab it so I get the excess paint off. And I'm just, just gonna take this and I'm just gonna pull it down. Not all the way, because I'm gonna have the blooms on top of this particular stem. And it's a pretty, you know, it's just skinny, but I think the delphinium stems are pretty thick. They're pretty sturdy, because they hold up a lot of those flowers. I grew them once. I don't know how these people grow them. I'm doing one here on the side curved. And another one here. Oops, it's a little big, so it's no big deal. Show some of that. I'm going to go in between some of the flowers, so I'm going to show a little of the stems. Now we're doing wet on dry here. And then again, so I showed you like the little blooms haven't bloomed up top. I'm just going to water it down a little bit, add a little more yellow. It's a little more limey, lighter green. Dab it. I'm just going to make a little ball, connect it. Go like that, kind of bend up and connect down. You want this fairly loose. So don't get wrapped up in if it's not looking perfect. So you're just going like that. Same thing up here. We're just making these stems that connect. As you saw in the picture, there's like a lot of them. And I actually think that the green you know, depending on the lighting, it can look a little more blue-green. If 
you want to go that way, add a little blue to this. Again, water it down so it's a little bit lighter. But don't get wrapped up if it doesn't. See, I'm just making like a ball and then a stem kind of bending downward. And it doesn't look perfect and it's not supposed to. And then you could do some ones that are bend in like this and start adding some really loose paint of this. So I mixed um, this Prussian blue with a little of that pink. And this one, this is the peacock blue with it. So it's got this purpley blue color. Do you see that up here? Little bright. So I'm going to just water it down a little bit. See? There you go. You could do the same thing. We can have the greens kind of peeking out and then adding the purple on the end. See? And the hint of that purple just kind of peeking through. The flowers down here, I'm just doing a see, I'm just squiggling it. You want to keep it, you know, if you want to get real serious, you can sit there and paint each little petal like so, but I don't think it's necessary. You know, and you can dab in some deeper color here. If you want to keep that white center, I have the white center here, see? Just want to keep going around. And I might want to make a little more purple, so I'm going to add some more of that, that pink. See, it's a little more purple. That was looking a little too blue. Again, see, I'm just moving the brush around very loosely like this. We're not making a serious delphinium. And, you know, can variety of putting the blues and the pinks. Just keeping that white center really helps to find that it's a delphinium. Remember, this is kind of like an abstract. Throw it in there like that. Wiggle around. And this one didn't have the white center. If I can just go in and, because there was some greenery there, take a paper towel and dab it pretty quickly while it's looking to dry. And we're just going around, like I said, wiggling these flowers. I'm gonna add. Some deeper tones underneath here. Just like it's a shadow. See, and if it goes and bleeds to it, that's fine. We want this really loose and fun. Again, I'm just going up here. It's a little too blue. I'm going to add more of that pink. You see, I like to show my work in real time. I could do a voiceover. Then you see how I get to really get to where I'm doing this. Now some of these blooms. Just putting them like that, smaller. It kind of goes like in a triangle. Leaving that white in the middle. Floral Friday. See that? It's getting there, right? Might want to go back in and add some more of these green stems. They kind of overlap, as you see in the picture. Kind of wild and crazy overlapping. And then you're going to do the same thing over here. Again, I'm using, this is the Prussian blue. This is the peacock. Peacock's really bright. Grab some of this bright rose. Get that purple color. 
getting a lot of water in here. Okay, then I'll dab it and I'll go and I'll wiggle. See, I'm just wiggling that paint around. Like I said, you could make the perfect little blooms like that if you want to. And you see that this, you can see in this picture, there's blue tones in here, there's purple in there. You know, just get in there and put the blue in the purple. Experiment. You want this really fun and loose. I'm getting this pretty wet. Put some over here. It's going to look like it without being serious. Because if you really wanted to paint a serious delphinium petal, it's going to be an overlapping. See, I'm just doing a little more serious here. You could do some really loose ones in the background and some more serious ones in the foreground. And that will have a fantastic look to it. And when I mean more serious, I mean more realistic. Not really serious, just a little more realistic. So I'm adding in some darker tones right in here. Trying to keep that white still there. Even a little darker down in here. Just layering. I could have chose a probably bigger brush to do this, make it go a little faster, but again, just goes in a triangle kind of shape going upward. Leaving that white center. When it dries, we'll go back in and we'll add the dot to it. Just has like that little dot. See, just put a little dot in there. Like I said, this is a loose tutorial. I like to paint this way. Less serious. You can find tutorials, I'm sure, on uh, YouTube for a realistic view of the Delvinium, if that's what you're looking for. But I like to paint. See how I'm making this more, this is a more blue violet. I like to have the variety. Just a simple soft painting. Some people get bogged down about, um, I got comments about backgrounds. You don't have to have a background. You can put a background in if you want. I like the simplisticness of just a flower sometimes. Um, adding background, you know, it's nice. Um, it's also, you have to just pay attention to like the colors too and try not to muddle up um, what you're painting. It can be a little tricky, especially with you know, flowers and watercolor. So I'm going ahead and adding that behind. Still going downward. We're going to start to add some of those greens in a bit. Adding some more purple in here. And the blue. It's just constantly mixing up this blue with the pink. Again, over in here. Just layer on top of the other one. And you can do the same thing. If these ones dry, you can go on layer on top of that. Give it that layered look that they have. They have these like, you know, like crepe flowers made of crepe paper and you can layer them. It's kind of like that. In between, I'm going to grab this peacock blue. I need some more bright rose. And of course I'm using the Holbein because now that I bought a bunch, I love them so much. I'm going to get this really right out of the tube. Pretty dark gonna water that down get that in there just right next to those pale 
purple flowers right in here. I'm going to bleed some of this color in here. It's just going to add some more dimension to it. You can go in and just blend in some color like that too, just to make it more loose. Water it down and then add the dark tones right in there. You want to have fun with this. Doesn't have to be serious. See, I'm just throwing in the dark colors right on that paper. Cleaning up my brush, getting water on there, and just moving that water around. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty intense. <laughs> so it's kind of like a background. Oh, and you could have left it the way I had it without even doing this. But I wanted to blur it out a little bit just to make it a little more abstract. That was my intention. But you didn't know that. So now I'm grabbing some water and I'm just moving this paint around here and getting it lighter as we go up. Again, going back in here, grabbing this colors, getting pretty dark, and dabbing that in there. This is how you get it more abstract. We can take some water and just wish it around here. Clean my brush. I'm just pushing the water in. So that's background. Or you could have left it without having it. It looked just as beautiful. Now we're going to get just, we're going to put some water down here. I'm going to start putting in some leaves, but I want them really loose. So we got the yellow, I'm going to grab that peacock and the Prussian, get a deeper green and a little bit of that rose, I made it a little too dark, grab some of this yellow and some more peacock until I get that green a little brighter, there we go, four colors. I'm just going to go up and it's bleeding, but that's okay. We're just going to throw in some color. A little thicker, the less bleeding. So I'm going to add some more tube kind of color. See, I'm just moving the brush around like that. And then this side is dry. So we can make the leaves. We just push it down. Go like this. Just use the tip of your brush. Go out. So it kind of looks like, like I said, like a parsley leaf. That's what it looks like to me. You know, and I could have made more room, which I didn't, on the bottom here, to put an actual stem. But if you wanted to do that, go right ahead. So I'm going to put that leaf again, just like little points, push down, put these little points out, kind of connect it like that. Going to add some of this Prussian blue, just get a little deep darker in there. So it's an abstract delphinium. I'm going to go up here and get a little darker green in here. And get some more yellow in here. Just throwing out the greens. You want to just take it and splatter it too on the edge. Do that. It's kind of fun. Again, I'm going to go add some more of this green up in here. 
do want to kind of keep it on the lighter like the put some red in here pink get it browner it's a little too bright so I kind of blended out that one and it's bleeding a little bit but that's okay and then you can go back in like well this is still wet and you want to go in and get a little more serious with your oh, see that's too dark delphiniums flowers just adding in some more tones it's supposed to be really loose I know it's tricky for people it's actually harder to do loose than it is to do more serious but the more you practice the better you'll get at it because with loose you kind of have to edit right do a lot more editing but I like to show you loose because I want to show you how you just push that brush around you don't have to do a petal in a certain way I'm going back over these blooms adding in another layer now I'm going to grab that darker blue and the pink and I'm going to do the little centers and this is pretty much I think you know almost done basically in my mind because I wanted it loose I didn't want something so serious up in here if it's still bugging you, you can go in and add some more wash of this blue purple I'd even do a little splat you want you to have fun with this serious is not allowed the times these days are too serious we need to have fun See, I'm going out and in some more purple. And that's our loose abstract delphinium. Now you saw in the beginning how it was not loose and abstract, and you could have continued just doing what doing it that way and keeping it a little more on the realistic way. Which is just as pretty. I'm gonna add some more purple up in here. Um, but if you want to go ahead and do the wild and crazy abstract way which I just showed you you can do that so it's kind of like a dual tutorial today so I'm going and adding in some more darker tones and there you go floral Friday don't forget to hit the uh, bell notification button to know when my tutorial is up um, I'm always still gonna be here on YouTube I know that people are like when they were talking about the Patreon and whatnot. I'm not leaving. Still here. Going to still be doing YouTube videos weekly. Um, I'm just added Patreon. That's another additive. There'll be extra tutorials, extra PDF downloads. It's a tool to help creators like myself. Because um, my goal is to hire out help to do some more cool things. So there you go guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Look at that. Four clouders. That's it. We're getting real simple here. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.